Hello, welcome to Camping Velo Kutanave. My name's Nick Kinson and my wife's name is Nicola Kinson. Uh, we're a British couple that toured to Bulgaria in our camper van in 2005. And while we were here, we decided that we would build a campsite. And we'd like to welcome you to our campsite, which is located at the edge of Drogizhevo village on the outskirts of uh, Veliko Tarnovo, about 12 kilometers away from the old medieval capital. Um, we strive to offer quality in a natural environment and tranquility for families and friends to relax and enjoy the nature. Uh, this is our reception and our coffee shop, uh, which is available from 8 a.m. in the morning till 10 p.m. at night. And if you'd like to walk on through, we can show you uh, what we offer. So obviously being British, we offer a large selection of teas, coffees, soft drinks for the children, beers, wine. We also offer some essentials such as uh, sandwiches, yogurt, milk, eggs, chopped, um, chopped meats, etc. And obviously we supply Bulgarian wines. So we, we pick nice Bulgarian wines because there are some delicious Bulgarian wines. We also offer uh, just some basic accessories for camping as well. And a lot of customers uh, come here and they can come out and sit outside. <coughs> And we have a nice shaded seating area where people can either bring their own food or their own barbecue um, or they can consume what we offer as well and this is very popular for people to sit out of the sunshine and a short walk from our coffee shop is the swimming pool which is very popular with the families to cool off in the heat of the summer um, if you'd like to come on up the staircase the swimming pool is 20 meters by 10 meters and it is 1.5 meters deep, which is an ideal depth. Um, so it's nice for the parents that uh, maybe are not so confident at swimming because the water depth is. We've seen lots of children learn to swim here with the help of their parents during the summer. And we also have a small baby pool, which is 60 centimeters deep. And the swimming, the use of the swimming pool is exclusive to camping customers. And like I said, it's included in the price. There's no extra charge for the swimming pool or the summer angles or umbrellas. And this is our uh, sanitary building for the uh, camping customers. So on the outside you have uh, sinks for washing up with hot and cold water. And if you'd like to walk around, uh, you can see that our swimming pool is in a very panoramic terrace overlooking the beautiful valley of Televets. It really highlights the Bulgarian countryside, our lush and green. And as part of the planting scheme of the campsite, we do some parts that are very planted with, with plants um, that uh, give them a lot, a lot of colour and other areas we leave natural um, to benefit the insects with the pollination of, uh, of the local flowers. And if you come through, uh, this is our men's bathrooms and we have toilets, sinks, showers. Uh, all with uh, hot water. These are cleaned regularly every single day and checked again um, a second time during the day to keep them clean. Uh, we also have a bathroom specially for families which is a little bit more spacious, so it is easier for mum and dad to uh, look after their children and, and give them a shower after they've been using the swimming pool. And for the travellers that are um, staying away from home for quite a long time, we also have a laundry for washing and drying clothes. So we have washing machines and towel dryers uh, where they can uh, clean their clothes. Uh, and also for the uh, uh, customers that are traveling with tents or on push bikes and motorbikes, uh, we also have a campus kitchen as well um, that has some equipment in there so that they can um, uh, cook and, and clean. Um, there's also a fridge that the customers can use to uh, keep their food cool. 
We also have recycling bins and we encourage all our customers to follow our ecological policy to recycle. Um, so this is a shaded seating area uh, that customers are welcome to use. And we have very natural gardens in this area. Uh, we don't cut the flowers, the wild flowers, to help with pollination um, and to um, support the insect life and, and the, nat the natural, natural life of the campsite. Um, so we have a mix of planting from very formal to very informal. So this is one of our informal areas. And it's also quite popular for the tent campers to have somewhere shaded to sit. And this also area here is also popular for tent campers. The shade of our old walnut tree uh, is very nice in the summer to keep their tent cool. Uh, so this area of the campsite is a children's play area. So as you can see, we have children's play equipment, but it's also a nice secure site just below the uh, swimming pool and away from the cars where children, children can play with bats and balls and, and do garden games. And uh, it's also got some, some seats um, so the parents can sit and relax and look after their children while their children have fun playing on the equipment. Um, so this area is the uh, camper vehicle service point uh, where customers can empty their grey water from their camper van or their caravan and they can also empty their black water from their chemical toilet and um, this is all also ecological the grey water goes to a reed bed um, that then cleans that grey water uh, before it goes into a nature pond which is at the bottom of the campsite so the campsite is laid out with three roadways that are very large with large areas at the end so it's very easy for uh, a customer to move their vehicle around and, and their car and caravan or their motorhome to get access to the individual camping places. We've tried to make each camping place as individual as possible and we've planted over a hundred trees to provide shade for the, for the customers. Uh, so each camping place is 120 square meters and each camping place has fresh water which is drinkable and also it has 16 amp 230 volts electricity which is also included in the price for the camping um, and there are 45 places in total um, so it's quite spacious and gives a really nice relaxed feeling we try to make each pitch a little bit unique and a little bit different with the planting and the trees so that people feel like they have their little home from home whilst they're away on holiday <laughs>